Hey guys, this is Tech Brothers, and we are back with Blackview A60 Pro. In this video, we want to talk about camera of this budget fan. If you missed, we already made unboxing, performance test, and battery test. You can watch these videos by the links in description. Without further ado, let's start camera test. As you can see, Blackview A60 Pro has dual camera on the back, but the second sensor is fake. I think so, because there is no information about second sensor on official website. Also, the popular benchmarks such as Antutu doesn't see it. Later I will show you portrait photos. You will see that the second sensor is fake. As for the main sensor, it has 8 megapixels resolution. The front camera is 5 megapixels. The camera app of Blackview A60 Pro looks like this. The main shooting modes are at the bottom – Video, Photo, Beauty, Bokeh, Mono and Pro. You can already see that the phone uses software to blur the background, not the second sensor. Later I will show the real images with bokeh effect. The settings menu has standard options. The main thing that you should do is to disable watermark. I don't know why, but it is really big. Also, there is electronic image stabilization in video settings, but running ahead it doesn't work. It's time to look at real sample photos. As you can see, the images in daytime look very good. Of course, if you enlarge the photos, you will see the details are not high. However, I think this is good for $70 fan. Now you can see the sample photos with bokeh effect. As I already said, the second sensor on the back is fake. You will have a circle in the center and all around it is blurry. Of course, this is not real bokeh effect. The selfie camera is ok. As expected, the photos at night have poor details. However, you can still take some good pictures if you adjust the brightness using tap on the screen. Although the phone has the option of electronic image stabilization in settings menu, the video recording is quite shaky. The maximum video resolution is Full HD, but for some reason the video in Full HD is zoomed. So I shot video in HD resolution. Blackview A60 Pro has autofocus, but it jumps very often, especially at night.
it was the last video about the Blackview A60 Pro. After unbox and performance test, battery test and camera test, I can say that it is good phone for the price of $70. Of course, you cannot expect much from ultra-budget phone, but Blackview A60 Pro looks pretty good. It has modern design, good performance for everyday tasks, good battery with 8 hours of screen and time, and decent camera. If you can buy this phone for $70 or less, it is a good deal. If it is more expensive, I would have thought. Thanks for watching. Hit the like button and subscribe to our channel, Tech Brothers. See you next time.